Before I start this video, I just want to say prayers to DeMar Hamlin. I hope that he's going to be all right. I tweeted before the game starts that it's really fun to see Clay as a first option. In his career, he's always been either second option or when KD came, it was third option. In the last four games, he's averaging over 32 points. How he's not top 75 is beyond me. Also, how Draymond's not top 75 is beyond me as well. People say he's a role player. Show me a role player that um, helped defense at the rim. He was playing shutdown defensive player of the year defense. He's been doing that all year. He facilitates the offense. He sets screens. He passes shooters open. Guards the best player, but is still forced to help defend at the rim. Nobody's going to talk about how they don't win this game without him or Kavon Looney. Well, I guess they'll talk about Looney since he had the buzzer beater. I think we all need to give Looney his flowers too. He guards the best centers. He's a great passer. He sets great screens. Amazing rebounder, just like Rodman was. I forgot to mention, Draymond's a great three-point shooter. Fifth in uh, all-time Warriors threes made. And he's made a clutch three so many times. You can look at the playoffs. You can look at the Western Conference Finals. You can even look at finals games. And you can see Draymond hitting a clutch three. I, I will never forget in 2019, he had a clutch three against the Trailblazers. I also think Steve Kerr is like a fantastic head coach. His offense, along with Ron Adams' defense, is amazing. How the world let the Warriors get a third Splash Brothers beyond me. It's like, okay, the older brother's out. Clay's like, all right, I'll, let's bet. I'll pull up with my young brother.